Well, vindication. It's about time that you all recognize it. Vindication. As the brick outside City Field says, Frank was right. And just think, you step, it's like, oh, it's, it's easy. Once you find a brick, you'll know where it is. You can watch it every time after you're walking out of that stadium after a loss, after uh, watching the vomit inducing Queen's crew, after going to the, uh, the Mets Museum, which is uh, just a slightly shade uh, bigger than the uh, room that we are currently in right now. Uh, the, yep. the fact that the trophies are basically hidden away from uh, the public, hidden in a, in a dark corner. Uh, we actually found them by accident because we started the 30 ballpark tour. We were in a random crevice on what level? Uh, the promenade. It's across from yeah. uh, City Field. Yeah, but like it it's, was a, like, it's the center field. You, you can't miss it. It's the center field right next to the fence, next to the chop shop. <laughs> they literally couldn't have put it in the worst spot. It, yeah. If you take City Field, the entire concourse, and what gets the least amount of foot traffic, that's where they put the museum. And they put it in a fucking broom closet. And it just shows you how much disrespect this organization has for history. I am furious about that, among 10 million other things. This, Frank, if, you, know, if peop, you know, if you're expecting me to come on and, and do my usual positivity about the Mets, you're mistaken, because I'm pissed. I, I mean, I, I, last night was just shameful. Anyone with a brain knew that there was no chance, no chance that they were going to get that game in. So for listeners, we're recording Wednesday. Do you guys want to walk them through what happened yesterday on Tuesday? Yeah, this is about Tuesday night. So I'll just say Tuesday on my way walking to work, Tuesday morning. It was pouring. There was a nor'easter coming. This has been anticipated for a while. Um, this rain is not new. Frank and I knew this was going to be rained out. We talked about it uh, the past weekend. Yeah, Monday, like, Monday, what Monday, we, got, the Monday, fans we got, like Monday, the rain held up, so they didn't, they got the game in, although the Mets uh, couldn't get a run in, nope. um, uh, then, uh, then we knew the next couple days were going to be iffy, uh, and they have Thursday on the calendar, Thursday, it's going to rain, but it's going to supposed to stop and not be as, 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 as uh, perilous, so they, and the Tigers are off that day, the Mets are off that day, could play a doubleheader, probably going to have to play a doubleheader. going to. Yeah, because um, because if, if the Mets actually uh, and right now it's it's even nastier on today. We're recording on Wednesday. It's nastier outside right now than it was yesterday. And yesterday it was pretty bad, and it's it's it's, it's horrible, terrible. It's like uh, it's like Frank decided to walk, and God said, "Fuck that shit! I will throw everything at you." <sighs> I mean, I've had more plagues thrown at me than the friggin' uh, uh, Egyptians door when uh, Moses is trying to get free. What is what is the population in New York and New Jersey? What is the population? Eight million. New York is eight million. So it, it, this was just for Frank, right? This storm, right. everything was just for Frank. Just wanted to confirm that. All right, it's for sure. all yeah. about. I, I just, I just want to talk about Tuesday night real quick. So yeah. Yeah. you know, they have these fans. So the, the Mets, in all of their wisdom, open the gates. People come in. It's also, I think, bring the dogs to the game. So people brought their dogs to this oh, cool. monsoon. And, you know, you have parking attendants out there. Rico wrote a great blog. I suggest everyone check it out about how the Mets should be ashamed. You know, people work in there. Fans go in there paying for parking. Go all the way there. And, Frank, what time did they cancel the game last night? Was they finally postponed this game? It was never going to happen? Uh, like around 9, 10, 9, 15. That's right. So people sat there for two hours. For no reason, in the rain, from a game that Frank and I knew was going to be postponed on Friday. This is I, criminal. I mean, I, I I saw the look on Gary Cohn's face in that little clip. It was like, get your snacks, do whatever you want. We're going to have baseball. So, Clemmer, I have a question because you guys, I think, both have season ticket packages. Correct me if I'm wrong, like in your own ways. Uh, yep. Do you get anything outside of, like, you're obviously owed a game, so I don't consider that a favor. But as a fan, you spent money to get there. You spend time to get there. If you have a family, kids, a job, whatever, all of that, you've, you've made an effort to go to all the way out to City Field, which is not like MSG. It's not in the middle of the city. It's a pain in the ass to get in and out of that area. After that, if you've been in the stadium for two hours waiting, you bought $20 chicken fingers and an $8 Gatorade. And $15 that, parking or whatever. It's that even, right, Frank? It's like $25, $30 parking, right? Oh, uh, that's, that, that's, no, no, no. That's, that's, that's where you go to the, 
like the, the South feel a lot. The lots are like about a block away. So is the Mets' yeah. official stance in this type of situation? It might be other teams too, to be fair, but is the approach, oh, sorry, just, you know, you can come to another game and spend more money, but there's nothing else we can do for you? Yeah, so what? Ha so Frank and I, I have a Sunday package. Frank has a Saturday package. So this game didn't affect my package delivery, but there are obviously weekend games that get rained out. So what happens is they, they basically say, hey, look, you can get a ticket. You can exchange this voucher for any game for the rest of the season, probably except for like Subway Series, things like that. But And then you can come at, uh, at your leisure to that game. But the parking, the concessions, your time, everything else, tough shit. Fuck you. Come back and spend more money at City Field. And, 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 it, and Gary Cohn was like, you could tell look on his face that there's no way to play in this game. That was bad. No, everyone knew this. And, you know, I, I, I got to talk about Steve Cohen for a sec. And I, I've been a big Steve Cohen guy. I, I know. And I, this is this is better than the Will Ponder because he spends money. But I'll tell you, last night, that was Will Pond to a T. That was defined Will Pond. This is exactly the shit he used to pull. And I'll say this for Will Pond. He didn't put our museum in a fucking broom closet. It was at least it, it took the fans screaming at him to even get one built. But at least it was in a, a decent spot. I am I am very disappointed with Steve Cohen the and, last uh, six, and seven months. What, another thing Will Pond would have done? Pilonzo would be a Met for life and not about to leave. Well, I, I'm, I'm going to pump the – I mean – Look, Diaz became a free agent. They re-signed him. Nimmo became a free agent. Resigned him. Steve Cohen has been spending money. I think they'll keep Alonzo. I don't think um, he will. I think I think P. Alonzo will not be a Met by August. I'm not going to get mad about that. It hasn't happened yet. I'm going to get mad. Excuse me. At the stuff that has happened and like last night was atrocious. Well, I, I, I honestly, I honestly, teams zero and four and they stuck. I honestly think that the uh, the Mets are like just like the, the Zach Bryan concerts. Who gives a fuck that he's dancing on stage with Zach Bryant? It's just, it's just me. We lost second game of the season. Boo hoo hoo hoo. Boo hoo. It's, it's, it's not like it's a playoff game the next day. It's a uh, eight o'clock concert. It's country music. Country music concerts. Their audience isn't staying there at midnight. They're, they're, and it's UBS Arena, which is what uh, thirty minutes from from City Field. So it's not going to affect how he performs. And especially, we grew up in the 80s when these guys are doing cocaine to the, more, the sun rises and coming to the stadium five hours later and, and hitting uh, home runs, gargantuan home runs in the 80s. I would also I mean, say... what, the, what are we doing here? But all it is is <laughs> all these little plants. Hey, it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong. And then you have, like, Brandon Tierney on, uh, on F. Hand saying that this is why Peter Alonso is... The, 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 the Mets will be better off without him. Andy Martino, hey, no, maybe the Mets will be better off. That's coming from Cohen. It's how the Mets have always operated. Telling these little guys on the air, on the air put these little up. things in here, put the nuggets in here, just like, just like Gary Cohen uh, in uh, 2013. You know, Daniel Murphy's a ne negative. They put those out there because the Mets' ownership already knows that they've decided to get rid of him, and they're just putting it there, you know. You don't really need him. Or really Frank, him. so Cohen that's how the Mets have always operated, and they still operate that way. Cohen has spent money, though. Don't you? You don't. Why wouldn't they resign Alonzo? It wouldn't be a money issue. Why wouldn't they? Because I think that they've spent the money, and now Steve Cohen's uh, having uh, second thoughts, and now uh, he realizes, you know what? It's not worth spending that money, and we're not going to spend it anymore. Do you think he looks at the Ricketts era, like when Ricketts spent all that money, and then he cried poor the last like three, four years? Do you think that's what's going on right now? Is where he's going to cry poor later on? I, I think, don't. I think he's I got in there. He he tried to make the big splash. It didn't work, and now he says, "You know what? It's not worth it." I don't and know. I, 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 I mean, I'll say this. So to that point, this off season has proven that correct, Frank. You're absolutely right. But I, I think there is a longer term plan in place. I don't think well, David Stearns would have came here if that was the issue. Like, why would yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, David Stearns came in here to play Moneyball. Which is what Frank said. You could have done that in Milwaukee. Why leave then? Because more money. Because you got. Uh, uh, then let me put it this way. Everyone, no. is, everyone keeps trying to say the Mets are going to make a run at Juan Soto. Juan Soto will never play another game outside of a Yankee uniform. His number twenty-two is going to hang in Monument Park in twenty years. He's going to take about three or four championships to the Yankees. This Damn. is the players the Yankees have been. Thirsting for, for a decade plus. You see them winning multiple World Series now, with with this uh, core. Well, uh, Juan Soto and uh, Aaron, Aaron Judge. Judge. Yeah. yeah, it's coming. 
I, and, I mean, uh, I, I'll say this. One, the player, was the closest, all, all, the, closest all, the, all the Yankees need to do is get a pitcher. And, and this year they're probably not going to win because – Garrett Cole, but if Garrett Cole gets healthy and they and they find a pitcher, they find a second, they find a a certified pitcher, the Yankees are going to have another dynasty, and you know what the Mets are going to be, last place and irrelevant. Uh, I mean, I, I I will say Juan Soto. I think Frank, you're probably right. Like Juan why would Soto, Yankees, will why not, would the Yankees ever let him go? They'd be Juan, crazy. Uh, once the Mets, the Mets, the, this is it's it, it's almost like the Mets last year saying that hey, we're going to go after Otani. There's yeah. no realistic chance. It was, the and they, and they didn't at all. And, I don't and, know. I, and, and, and so you're going to so you're going to let Pete Alonso walk, and you're not going to get Juan Soto. Who's going to be on this team next year? Or are, and these prospects? You, yeah, you might say that these broad prospects are good. No, I look at these prospects, and you know what I see? Fourth outfielders. I mean, we'll see. That's 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 a ways away. Frank, this well, season, I mean, they told what us we, what Fred, they told Fred Beatty is going to be George is George Brett. Reincarnated, that he's a left-handed power hitting third baseman with a good glove. He's neither. Clemmer, can I ask you? Did they really hype him up that much? Because Frank always says that to me, and I, I don't really know if it's true. Frank hyped him up that much. Frank was like maybe hyped as like the prodigy. Yes. Uh, I, I would say a step right below that. He was hyped up, and so far he has been terrible. I'm not going to. Uh, I know he's terrible. And and and, I uh, and, and, and and just look at the Mets' uh, uh, scouting system. Brett Beatty was drafted two positions ahead of Corbin Carroll. Yeah, like that's the stuff that just can't happen. Now, Frank, I got um, – I have a question Maybe for you. Last year, already a superstar. Yeah, he – oh, Corbin he's Carroll is – going to face the Arizona Diamondbacks yeah. for the next 15 yeah, years. Yeah, Jenks. Frank – Corbin Carroll is incredible. Uh, Frank, I have a question for you. Plus, he's a pure athlete. And, and you don't need to be a scout to know he's going to be great. Frank, um, when did the Mets win their first game? So, we have uh, two more okay. games against the Tigers. And then we go on the road. We have the Reds for three, who are pretty good, and then the Braves for four. Frank, oh, are we? What's going to happen when we go for your walk on Sunday? Uh, here's, here's, here's my prediction: If they do not win one of these two games against the Tigers, okay, they're going to go into the uh, Kansas City series all with our team. Oh, Frank! Now tri trivia for Clemmer and Frank: What's the record for most consecutive losses for a first-time manager in MLB history? Oh. First time manager. Consecutive Jesus. losses? I asked I you on Twitter the other night, Frank, but first, you, you didn't first, respond. First time manager? Yes. I know a team once started 0 and 21. Yeah, I, the I Orioles. The answer, that was two managers, Frank. I think the first rookie to, like, the worst rookie ever was 13, I think. So I think you'd have to get to 14, but we can, we can uh, fact check that. But, Frank, the funny thing is you declared Mendoza to be the worst manager in baseball history and, before the season started. And so far he is. Statistically, so far he's the worst manager in baseball it's history. Statistically. It's not just stats. The, the way he handled the Reese Hoskins things was, was amateur hour. He did It was all backwards. I mean, I'll put it this way. Carlos Mendoza has been suspended before he's won a major league game. That's fucking insane. I, 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 and, you know, Ron Darling nailed that right. You can't, you can't throw at him after he's kicked your ass. No, you you go you do it the first day. The whole thing's so stupid. I I, yeah. I and you I, don't, I don't you don't have to hit him. You just you don't have to hit him. You don't have to hit him either. You you hit him that game or you don't and you move on. It's no, you you have to buzz him in his first at bat. You don't yes. wait till you throw that before at bat. <laughs> after he's had, he it was after he had a, a homer, a double, and a, and a, and, a, and a four RBIs. So I know this pod drops Friday, but I mean tonight they're playing the Tigers again. Dude. They're not playing tonight. They're not playing tonight. They might have the fans the come and pay money for parking and like, in the rain, but they're not going to play. Six uh, at six eleven, they're not going to play because they're supposed to play at six eleven. But there's not going to be delay because no, no, you're still allowed to down for New York, Mikey. The field. They're going to play two left. games tomorrow. Okay, Thursday. that's crazy. Yeah, if they don't have a lot of bet on the game. If they don't win, if they don't win one of those two games, yes, yes, it, it's it's going to really start to snowball. They are not. They are not. And I repeat, they are not. I don't care if they win the next five games and get the five and four. They are not winning a single game in Atlanta. Not a single game in Atlanta. Frank, can you imagine if they go? So what are they? They're 0 and 4 right now. Imagine if they even split this, you know, the, the Reds and Cart, whatever. Take so go two and three against the Tigers and, and and Reds. Now we're looking at what? Two and seven facing the Braves? 2-11. Yeah, and now they go, like, this could get out of control 
very fast. They need to win now. They need to win again and again and again. You cannot yeah, go into that Brave series under arms. And 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 there, there, there's hope that they could get JD Martinez for the Brave series, but I don't think JD Martinez can do anything right now. So can I ask? I think both of you guys had them in the 80s. Is that right, Clemmer? For over I said under 80. the season. My Which, prediction was 80. After seeing this opening. If you had a, a chance to recalibrate, what would you say? I think there's a good chance to lose 100 games. I don't think it's that bad, but are we going to do I a would... tattoo bet? Tattoo bet again? No, because I'm. I, 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 it's different this year. Like last yeah, year. What would you say though, Clever? How much has it dropped in your mind? I probably say like 75 now. Wow. Like because it's not only that they lost; they lost to the Brewers, who ripped them apart piece by piece by piece. And then, you know, to lose a game in extra innings like that to the Tigers, they, their offense stinks. They can't hit. And I know Joey Wendell is terrible. Dave, uh, Brandon, would uh, I miss the Brandon Nimmo that used to get on base every other day at bat. Now he's striking out. Like, I mean, this guy used to have three uh, three ball counts every game. And now now, now he just strikes out. He, his swing is bad. Uh, Jeff McNeil is gone. That Jeff McNeil that won the, the uh, batting tower two years ago, he is gone. And by the way. It, it, it is clear the Mets as a team do not like him. No, I think, I think you're right, Frank. I think you're absolutely right. Uh, the- I mean, Mark Vientos, Mark Vientos liking a tweet that says that the uh, the Mets show the crybaby Jeff McNeil just illustrates what it shows. And, and Mark Vientos liking the, the Mets getting their ass kicked and, and sending out a tweet that, hey, they could have used another bat. I would almost put it on the Mount I, I would I would put Mark Vientos. To me, you got to trade Mark Vientos now. He is he is a poisonous part. What are you going to get for him, Frank? Yeah. I mean, you, uh, what's he uh, going to do? Clemmer, did you see? <laughs> I think the Mendoza post game interview when he referenced starting the season, whatever, zero and three, zero and four, as you know, part of the season you go through slumps, ups and downs. As a brand new manager, with the performances they've put up. In terms of self awareness, in terms of leadership, in terms of showing the fans you give a shit, I thought that was a Mount Rushmore level type of incompetent press conference for a new manager. But curious what you thought. So I, it's a tough spot because, like, you have to be somewhat positive. And there is so, there is one element of truth, and Frank would agree with this: that it's always hard to hit in the cold. Once July and August comes, those bats heat up. But the problem is the bats heat up for the opposition too. Yeah. So you know you're not going to have a zero zero game in the tenth typically in August. But they can't hit, and they have, and also I'll say this, and I think Frank will agree as well with this. This team came out of spring training unprepared. They are not a prepared Major League Baseball team. The Brewers, with the Brewers, did them ripping them apart, pitching, hitting. How about how game. about how about this? Yeah, we were yeah, and and we did this on the dog walk. You yeah, you're saying that there's gonna be more stolen bases now. Mm-hmm. Mets haven't even attempted a stolen base yet. Is that true? Is that true? I think it is. They don't oh, have one. Frank. I, that, if that's true, that is. For, they that don't is. have a stolen base. And I remember uh, ninth inning, Marte was on first, and he didn't try to steal. I, 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 don't I almost don't. I'm going to look it up because it's so shocking. It, they, yet, they, I know they don't have a stolen base. Frank, they don't have a stolen base. They, they, they have not attempted a stolen base. In 2024 wow. baseball, you need to steal. And I know for a fact we had one game where the Brewers stole three bases off him. I was there, so I, I that is like mind boggling. That's not how you play baseball in twenty. Yeah, the, and the the, 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 uh, the comment, and uh, you know, the, the law is that you you're not supposed to be able to break up a double play. You're not supposed to slide in anyone. That's now right. been banned. And personally, I don't think it should be banned, but it should. But it has been banned. The Mets take it to another level, especially Jeff McNeil, who whenever there's a double play, he like like uh, drops to his knees. He doesn't even like run at the runner. He doesn't do anything. He like stops. And it was like the Mets are the most polite team in baseball. <laughs> you, you know what it is? It's uh, it's uh, st- uh, it's it's like the Ten Commandments. You know uh, that airs every week, every year uh, around this time of year. No, and it, it's like Charlton Heston. Uh, I mean, that movie is it's got such great effects, but it's so overblown and long it that is. it's it's 
it's, 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 it's watch. over the top. The acting is over the top. And and then you get the big scene with the uh, Ten Commandments are committed, and you see like the lightning striking from the from the sky hitting the the tablets. You're just thou shall not steal. Dun, 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 dun. And, then, and it's like like and it did, well, he had the the uh, the, uh, the chorus from those uh, Ten Commandments. Thou shall not steal. Dun, 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 dun. Thou shall not covet wins. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, you want you want a stat, Frank? Um, let's do a little trivia. So you are absolutely right, Frank. The Mets have not attempted a stolen base this year. That's it. Did that's it? Well, that that incredible. And and Monday night, you're you're you're, you're struggling. You can't get a run in. Your your lineup's struggling, and they had like um, uh, Marte got on base. You had players on base that should be trying to steal, and they're not trying to steal. Like, All right, Frank. Uh, I have a couple. I have a couple trivia questions for you. Then ready. Guess how many times the uh, people have stolen bases against the Mets? How many Mets uh, against the Mets stolen bases have happened? Uh, four. Nope. Higher. Five. Nope. Higher. Ten. Seven. Higher than that, Frank. Oh, my God. Eight. Eight. And guess how many times they've caught a runner st- stealing? Zero. Opposition is eight for eight against stolen bases against Jeez. the Mets. Oh, the my Mets God. Are over. Oh. By the way, so there's, that's eight Plummer, bases. That's two there's zero runs. percent on both happen. sides, except the only caveat is they didn't even attempt to steal one. I think well, Cohen is just trying to break side. you, Frank. I think he's just doing this on purpose at this point. No, I think this is soothing for Frank because it's validation. He's right. He's been right the whole time. He's not like even that angry. He's as, pretty chill. As the brick says, Frank was right, <laughs> and I know, and I know that motherfucker wants to tear that fucking brick up because, because you know, it's, it's right by the, it's right by the rotunda in, entry, and you know. He's going to be walking out of there before or after games. Do you think Cohen walks through the rotunda? Eh, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> walks by that brick every day. He's like, that motherfucker. God damn it. I hope he does. I hope he knows that brick is there. That's so fucking funny, Frank. All right, boys. Thank you very much. Uh, I mean, come on. I, I got to say, Frank. I wish I could be more optimistic for you. I wish I could be more optimistic for me. I'll be at the walk with you on Sunday. Uh, that'd be a fun day. Dwight Gooden retirement ceremony. April 14th, to be clear. Yep. Not this coming April Sunday. 14th. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Sunday, April 14th. I think it's what's the Dwight Gooden number retirement yes. ceremony, right, yes. Frank? Yes. So you got that, the NYP, Frank, and then... Yeah, what's going on with that? Explain that to me a little bit, Jane. So we're talking about it real yeah. quick. Before. What's going on uh, with that? The April 20th is the 50th anniversary of the Hockey Heroes game at UBS Arena. NYPD versus FDNY, and uh, in uh, leading up to that game, we're going to be walking with some of the hockey players and some of the uh, members of the FDNY and uh, NYPD. These in and, and that game is these are firemen going against the NYPD, and because uh, the firemen actually have a for for amateur hockey is like a, a highly competitive amateur hockey team. The FDNY, but they're they, tougher than the Devils. They probably are. Uh, and, and there's always there's always several fights when these two teams play each other too. Automatically tougher than the doubles. Yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what we're gonna do, Clemmer, is we're inviting all fans April 14th, 10 a.m. outside okay. of City Field. You don't have to have tickets to the game if you want to come walk with Frank. What we're also gonna do is share information on. So there's a variety of options, but there's everything from police officers who have died in the line of duty, where you can donate Tunnel to their families to. T- uh, um, sorry, what was that called? Again? Tunnels to Towers. Tunnels to Towers, which is for the firefighters and their families. But we always like to take these big moments for Frank and use it to actually do something good. And people love to give Frank a hard time because he gets so irritated by his sports teams. But I think it's important to note with shit that actually matters, Frank always steps up. And I think this is another great opportunity for that. That's awesome. I'll be there too. So let's go. So, yeah. So April 14th. 10 a.m. I'll be there with you guys walking. Hopefully the, hopefully the weather is, is cooperating because April 3rd and this weather is absolute bullshit. God's got your number, Frank. We all know it. All right, boys. I'll see you later. Right, yeah, I'll be there on the 14th. Yeah, wait. Later, Mikey. Good seeing you. OG. OG. Right. Now, uh, one thing about the match I've had is this Queen's crew. Frank, Queen's tell me about this Queen's crew. Remember, I always was joking that one day the Mets are going to get rid of all the star players and have a spirit squad. It that it it came into fruition very quick. Yes, it has happened. Everybody, this guy, this loud guy, like always introduces them. Everybody, 
It doesn't matter, win or lose. We got you. We're the Queen's crew. <laughs> Opening day. They're dancing on the dugout. The bets are being one hit. By the way, they got one hit on oh, one motherfucking that. hit. The sign. And uh, they have, and they got three members of the Queen School dancing on the dugout. Instead of having it spell out "Let's Go Mets," they just had the initials. They had the G. They had the M. And they had motherfucker with an L, holding an L. Frank, it's like it literally is like they write the story for you. It's they, a joke. It's it's, it's crazy. It is a joke. You Next is just going to be coming out with three L's. No M. Yeah, no yeah. No I mean, no. I mean, it's it's it, it, it's embrace the L. You know, it 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 it's. It, I mean, the crazy thing is this: since the Queen's crew, the Mets are obviously owned for. The Devils have blown two two goal leads, and are now officially. Dead, mm -hmm. beyond dead, and the Knicks are 0 3 and falling apart. Do you remember you Batman think? Begins, Mikey? What did you say? Remember the movie Batman Begins? Yeah, remember how they managed to release a toxin into the air that's going to make everyone crazy? Yeah, that's what the Queen's crew has done. I've, I, yeah, the, the New York is sense. polluted, and all of our sports teams are fucked. Thanks, Queen's crew. Thanks, Steve Cohen. Uh, and uh, we touched on the devils. And, uh, what are you taking a hit of salt? Oh, I'm hit, taking a hit of salt. Can well, if it that? makes you feel better, before we get into the devils, the, the Knicks do play the Bulls tonight since this is being released Friday. Mm -hmm. They play tonight. Uh, Queens will find a way to fuck it up. Uh, <laughs> definitely. What just fucking happened? You just take a, you just take a salt hit? Yeah, I just took a salt hit, and it's Why? extremely That's unpleasant. Wrong. I'm just trying to be one of the boys. How do you do that? Hit me right in the back of the throat. That's not even. Ah, <laughs> you like? I feel like you I just jumped in the ocean. That. You like that? What the fuck, Frank? That's a Frank thing. You, you don't put He's salt. He's body laughing. He's convulsing. Look oh at that. My God, that's a seizure. You okay? <laughs> Somebody, you need help. My God, I need a drink. Frank, are you that all right? Is... You know what that is? That's salty, bro. <laughs> Salty, salty. <laughs> Who would have thought? You could be on the stream. Well, I, you know my diet. I only eat Cliff Bars. I can't. I'm probably gonna have diarrhea. All <laughs> Just speaking like, of which, <laughs> and a dozen episodes go to air. So, yeah, you can tell. Saltine is the new version of like Lucy. No, it's Mikey, like, listen to the. Can I tell the story? Let's hear. Yeah, it. I think it's kind of funnier from my perspective. So Frank has to record the dozen. What was it yesterday or two days ago? Uh Monday. Okay. Mondays. So, in you know how it is, Mikey, with Frank, if yeah. he has something to do for like an hour or so in the middle of the day, it's kind of like, all right, pee, poo, taxes, you know, anything that you got to get done, you got to take those windows and jump on them. I like that. Your example, top three priorities. In my apartment, I still don't have a lamp in my bedroom. I dress in the dark every morning. And, and uh, by the way, Amazon I have a lamp in my storage area. He can take it anytime he wants it, but he is not taking me off on the offer. I should have taken it the one time we went to your storage unit. But anyways... I was taking a uh, dookie slash uh, diarrhea, and all of a sudden I start here in the office, and I just start hearing, Jenks, Jenks, kind of like uh, mm -hmm. Will Ferrell when he's going, Meatloaf, Ma, yeah. Meatloaf. And then eventually I, I, I can hear it progressing. So I'm yelling from the stall so the whole barstool office can hear it. <laughs> Frank, I'm taking a shit. And Frank then finally figures it out after roaming around a little bit. This is all on the dozen, by the way. So hopefully you guys watch the episode if you've watched it yet. He starts banging on the bathroom door. He goes, you in there? I go, yeah. He goes, what Western Conference team? He doesn't even ask, are you right. shitting? Are you okay? What Western? And like, quickly, what Western Conference team did the Tembe Mutombo play for in 2005, 2006 with Bob Sura? And mid-diarrhea, I nailed it. Houston Rockets. You guys belong in a mental institution. That's why Jeff Delo tweeted something happened this week out of 400 episodes that has never, ever happened before. I, I don't know whether to laugh. Frank you, was really happy with me. I got the question oh, yeah, right. Yeah, very happy. No excuses. The image of Frank just banging on the door while you're taking a shit to get an answer for a trivia question. He goes, 
not on my radar today. Sorry, I didn't expect that one. You guys are crazy people. Crazy people. Well, I had to give them the right answer. The best part is if I got it wrong, you probably would have kicked the stall in and slapped me. God damn it, Jake! It's fucking oh my God. useless piece of shit. As you're well, taking a useless piece of shit. <laughs> but uh, uh, I still taste the salt. <laughs> Why would you do that? That's I, I wanted to just just give it a shot. It's like you know you know how like um, the clownfish they they're the only ones that can swim through the anemone. Yeah, no, that's for sure. That's I, I'm Frank, sure that's wait a month. The only person that could do that. People smell salts. Frank just fucking shoots them back like it's a My shot. My mouth is legitimately <laughs> like. Yeah. Frank asked for a Modelo with salt without the Modelo. <laughs> it's crazy. Did you did you hit a full pack per head? No, about half. You're talking yeah, about I mean, it like they're nicotine pouches. Why are you doing this, Frank? That's crazy. It's crazy. This is a habit I've always had. I know. I've. I've. It's been. It's been the pin tweet on Frank the Tank Pod forever. It's been the number one tweet. I never you thought to try it, but now that I've tried it, I'm much more disturbed. <laughs> Why don't you just go drink some salt water instead, Jenks? That's basically what you just did. You're right. I should go jump in the Atlantic Ocean and just start drinking. Maybe chew on some cinnamon. I don't know. This is crazy. Um. um all right, Frank, let's talk about the Devils a little bit, and then we'll get into some uh, Florida man. We don't even need to hit them that much. They're just so fucking soft, and they suck, and they're out of the playoffs. They, they, yesterday's game just just is like just end of motherfucking season now. They're playing uh, – uh, I don't even know if I want to watch another game. I have a, uh, We can't make it to the game on the 7th. I have to give my tickets up on the 9th. I've already gave my tickets to uh, uh, one of the uh, workers upstairs, Elena. Nice. For uh, – for the uh, April 7th when we're going to be uh, at the race. Um, and, of course, don't forget Martinsville this weekend. Yep. Uh, the, uh, the great thing's going to be happening there, so stay tuned. Uh, we got the Dude Wipes, uh, and we got the uh, Food City. Uh, the Dude Wipes is the uh, Xfinity Series, and then we got the main series uh, is um, the Food City, and we're going to be there all weekend doing many great things with uh, NASCAR and uh, – it would be the only second time I'm going to do a NASCAR driver. I don't think I've ever been this close to NASCAR or, uh, track. I'm, uh, I'm going to be there at large. It's good. I think it's going to be a good time, and maybe I'll find a way to start getting a little bit more into NASCAR. I mean, God knows I need something to some of this. Yeah, we don't want to give away too much, but Frank might be doing a Frank Walks with a huge NASCAR star on the track, but we'll see. I'm also hearing some whispers about some other things Frank might be doing, but uh, we could talk about that later, and uh, yep. we can see about it later. Yep. Lots of and, of course, uh, this will be great for uh, Tank in a While, which is a uh, new episode this week, so stay tuned for that. That's a good one. We went to that that weird, weird park in New York. It, they, they, they created an island out of a uh, – Island boy. Yeah, they created this thing. They call it Little Island, and they they – and it's like only about five years old, this thing. And they put these like. Frank, I think you're a little too innocent to know this, but I can speak to this. They built that park for people to take acid and do mushrooms. A hundred percent. Really? That's where you go when you're on psychedelics. And, and what's which, which, which ironic is it's, 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 a, it's a pier. Uh, it used to be a major port. Yep. Yeah, used to be a major port. And, uh, that pier is where the Titanic was supposed to. Uh, that was the te- that that land uh, uh, in the, when it sunk. Oh, so that's where it was supposed to like drop people off. Yep. Yikes! That's pretty dark. Yeah, for okay. a sharing like where something really dark and then just goes quiet. And, and, and then they did. Yeah, uh, what what, what to say to that? What's right? great is and then they have these like uh, they have this like uh, spinning thing that like. Frank, are you trying to hypnotize me? What? Are you trying to hypnotize me? Well, that's what that thing was doing in the park in front of hypnotizing. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to go there then, Frank. Um, I am coming. It was on, but it's on Tank in the Wild this week. So yes, it was, and it was hilarious. Uh, make sure you guys and, check uh, out Tank in the Wild. And uh, not so hilarious is the Devils, who yesterday had a three-one lead going into the third period. Big game, big game. Yes, basically yesterday was a survival game. Both the Devils and Penguins have basically the same record. Uh, Devils, uh, who blew a, uh, who have already lost to the Senators this month, the last place team, that they could have gotten within three points if they got if they won that game. Then they had another chance to get within three points of a playoff spot last week, and blew a a, a, a 
a two nothing lead against the Sabers, scored two goals and didn't last, score another goal. Sabers scored five goals and ended up winning that game five to two. Well, yesterday they they found a new low. They lost, had a three one lead, and uh, they gave up two goals within uh, fifty seconds midway through the uh, third period, and then they gave up three goals in forty eight seconds to blow the game. The, the, the Penguins blow the game away six to three, and. Uh, they're one of their young stars, Simon Nemich, got drilled face first into the boards. Walken took the puck, skated by two other devils who looked like they were, oh shit, I don't want to. I, no, 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 don't. don't and let me be clear because Frank obviously gets very worked up about stuff. I was at the game with Frankie, of course. It was like a cheap shot that put the guy's fucking face into the board. He got leveled, and then he was laid out. And the referees did talk to him, did talk, and finally gave a penalty. But but at first, as as an athlete, and I play on barstool basketball intramural, which nobody gives a fuck about. It's two 20-minute running halves. If somebody hit one of my teammates in any way, shape, or form the way that guy got hit, I would go fight them. I would not hesitate. I would go, I would just run up to the person, and they would be on site. The fact that the Devils in a hockey, an NHL hockey, where fighting is like allowed. You just both get a penalty and then you go on with your life. Not one of them cares enough about each other to step up. And this up, is a 20. Everything. This is one of the Devils' top young prospects who was, had his up and downs this year. He's, uh, but he's at 20. He just turned 20. Just turned 20. So he needs to be protected. He's a kid. Yes, he's a kid. He's a fucking kid. Simone Nevis, he's a she, God, and he ain't. He he was woozy. They took. They, he might have a fucking concussion. Who knows? It was a dirty team shot. Cross check. Like and Frank, did anybody help him up? Nobody even went near him. If I remember, correctly. nobody. He was just. It was like a deer got hit in the road, and everybody kept. And driving. the other devils were just like staring, staring, Literally. looking, staring, looking, walking, skated by them, and, and it was like, oh, we don't want this shit. No, 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 don't, 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 no, no, we don't fight. That's what pussies this Terrible. team is. Yes. This, is what, this is why I fucking hate this team this year. This is why I call this team a bunch of fucking pussies. Your guy just got fucking leveled. You need to fucking level them too. That makes me even more angry than the fact they blew the fucking game. Yep, I agree. Yeah, that's fucking, it's pathetic. It's pathetic. That made me more angry than the actual loss. I mean, yeah, I, that's the first thing you see, especially like, I remember when the Bears... Nobody picked up Justin Fields. Nobody picked up Mitch Trubisky. And I was like, dude, these linemen aren't doing anything. The one time soft, them, the dogs are man. fucking whips, especially that goddamn fucking Thomas Nozick. Yeah. Sad, Frank. Okay. It's pathetic. Do you want to get into some uh, Florida man, Frank? Yes, let's do Florida man. Oh, I love we Florida man. Mikey, like, yeah, I think it's also important. I've noticed in uh, Ask the Tank and stuff, I think we're getting some new listeners. So maybe uh, just always kind of give them the preset of this totally bonker segment we do. Uh, so Florida Man is a segment of well, it's actually called Judge Judge Tank, and uh, I give Frank a bunch of yeah. And sometimes we'll have to have things outside of Florida, but we need to get you a robe for the segment. You should put a robe on. But it, but Florida just is just like so. We'll get him a judge's robe, Mikey. Your Florida is just so too, fucked up. Florida is so fucked up. It just seems that everything is in Florida. There you go. Shout out to our Florida fans. Hey, right. they know it. They know what it is. They right. know what it is. You know, about uh, 10 years ago, a woman called 911 actually in Port St. Lucie with a Mets train because they were out of chicken nuggets at a McDonald's. That's like the Incredible Hulk version of Karen. That's Incredible Hulk Karen, right? That's Incredible Hulk Karen. I need my chicken nuggets! Bring in the National Guard! I mean, Jesus Christ. Talk about having issues. Mikey, your screen's off. I know, because I'm reading. You guys ready? Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, Florida man. Oh, well, that one's actually bad. I don't want to do that one. Okay. Florida man arrested for calling 911 after a kitten denied entry into strip club. Now, is kitten a nickname for a person or it's an actual kitten? Everett Lagos, that's the guy uh, who was arrested. He was arrested outside of Emerald City Strip Club in Murdoch for repeatedly calling the emergency line to report that the club owner had refused to let his kitty into the jiggle joint, deputy said. You know, there's some beautiful irony to being rejected from a strip club for trying to bring in a pussy. Yeah. 
they, they, I think it takes it away. It's a ratio thing or something like that. Frank, what is, what is the punishment? I think just being him is already punishment enough. <laughs> I agree with Frank. If you're bringing cats to a strip club, uh, you're you're shot. You're already shot. Okay, uh, Florida man arrested for desperately calling Hooters or calling nine one one for a ride to Hooters. Jonathan Hinkle allegedly told nine one one dispatchers he needs a ride to the provocative eatery to help his grandmother who had fallen ill. Cops later learned that the 28-year-old Merritt Island man's granny was perfectly fine, and Hinkle was arrested on charges of misusing of misusing 911. Does he realize that there's something called Uber? Yeah, does he know <laughs> that Ambos aren't free? Did he think Ambos are? He must have thought Ambos are free because that's a very expensive ride to Hooters. I, uh, yeah, I think I think Uber. I think he'd get it. Uh, 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 Slightly uh, better deal. Uh, yeah, be like thirty dollars instead of three thousand dollars. Yeah, okay. Fucking idiot. Uh, I mean, this is sad, yeah. And Mikey, you're being a bit sexist. I'd like to hear a Florida woman thing. I mean, uh, this, this, thing. This, this guy, this guy should uh, this guy should never go to Hooters again. He probably shouldn't leave his house, it sounds like. I can I could find you a Florida woman one. Give no, me I'm one. just kidding. I'm just kidding. What I'm, you got? Drunk Florida man arrested after trying to use Taco as ID after his car catches fire at Taco Bell. <laughs> I hate to be a dick, but this sounds like something that would happen to Mikey if you gave him two days off. Yeah, that's very true. That's why I don't get days off. Because, like, you like to drink. You're you're half Latina. <laughs> like, you know. It's... Uh, I lost my idea to fire. Here's my taco. Can you help me? <laughs> well, hold on. Wait. Counterpoint. What if he identifies as a taco? Oh, clean. Yeah, that that that, that uh, everyone identifies whatever they want uh, today. Yeah, but then you'd yeah. have to have a picture of the taco on your ID. You, it, it would still not be a form of ID. Well, no, but the, one thing, the one thing, the one difference is, is the taco might be smarter than him. What are we debating here? What are we debating? Might be smarter than him. Maybe. All right, naked Florida man arrested after uh, cops discovered him eating ramen in a restaurant as police were searching for a different burglar that ate chicken wings. Is this the guy we saw in the wheelchair? Mikey Stopplinger? I'm tired of this. I'm getting bashed. Uh, I mean... Uh, <laughs> I'm tired of this. I mean... Uh, He's letting it all hang out at a Chinese restaurant. I mean, uh, eating. I mean, this Chinese restaurant. Uh, where, uh, maybe the uh, guy who was uh, 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 trying to get into uh, the strip club can go there too. Maybe, all right, I got maybe, like three more. Maybe, maybe this restaurant is like the gates of hell. All these guys should hang out together. They sound like. I, I love that Frank hasn't even arrested one person. He's like, no, yeah, of course they, not. They get what they deserve. No, well, he was in the court system for a long time, and he knows <coughs> that the prisons are over overcrowded. That's why this segment's great. You come up with creative punishments. This one's yeah. for you, Jenks. Uh, this Florida woman. Florida woman drops pants, licks man, dances naked in Waffle House parking lot, and gets arrested. What'd she get arrested for? All right. Frank. I think it happens every day at Waffle House. Also, I uh, spot the crime. I don't. What happened? What, what's wrong? Oh yeah, you're right. This was actually a special, not 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 uh not an arrest. Sorry. Uh, Florida woman threatens hair salon with machete. Poops in patrol car. Uh, patrol car, deputies say. Okay. I, well, she wanted a haircut, so I guess she uh, found a faster way to do it. I would make her do community service working septic systems. Um, if you shit in someone's car, you need to be punished. Frank, come on. You can't, you can't shit in someone's car. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's smart because we're in his car all the time so he, and, uh, he needs to back that up and i think i think she should uh she should be uh not septic system she should uh, have to clean out the uh porta -potties. <coughs> porta potties yes and unlock every bathroom in every public park across america until they're all open yes florida man driving cadillac from sunroof says he'd rather go to jail than back from to his wife the car drives itself, and it has a gigantic computer in it, the man said after being taken into custody. So, I mean, uh, the guy gave the answer. He wants to go to jail. Send him to jail. Is, 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 is his name Ron Burgundy? 
Actually, you know what, Frank? If he endangered other people's lives and he wants to go to jail, they should send him back to his wife. That's the better punishment. Yes, it is. Yep. You're going home, buddy. Just take his license away. Yeah, make uh, make his wife make his wife have to be there, drive him everywhere. No now problem. this one is uh, this one might go up to the higher courts because the courts already dropped the charges. But uh, let's see if it went to a higher court. Uh, charges dropped against Florida man arrested for I eat ass sticker on his truck. Do you, do you think that he should have that or no? Was Stu down here? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like him. He just called me, so I don't. Th- Actually, that could have been his one call. <laughs> oh fuck! We gotta go to Florida. Uh, yeah, you know that's fifteen fifty dirty. I think if Stu got arrested, I would be one of his first calls, if not the first. All right, this is my last one. This is my last one, and uh, this yeah. is. That's the thing. Oh, and yeah, and then we have asked the tank. Man caught on video licking doorbell for three hours. He should have to wear a Hannibal Lecter mask for a while. That's like, dude, what is wrong? What is in the water down there? That's what I want to know. All right. I don't know. Any punishment, Frank, for licking the doorbell? I think that his punishment should be that he has to just uh, sit and watch the Mets play. All right. All right. So let's do some ass to tank, Frank. You ready? Yep. All right. First one is from Chevy Chester, longtime listener. Is Chris Clemmer an alien? I think there's a about a 40% chance of that being yes. I believe so, too. Frank's pause was the whole answer in itself. <laughs> Frank, I mean, we know Adam Silver is. Yeah, I know who Adam Silver is. Well, yeah, he's an alien. Oh, so, I mean, they look identical, minus Clemmer has hair. That's why I say that, yes. I agree. All right. Uh, Frank, how long does Lindor nap in the dugout for uh, after a long error, or after an error? About three minutes. Although it's harder to let nap now with the damn Queen's crew dancing on the fucking uh, dugout. Mikey, can I ask one? Yeah, go ahead. So we got one from Mike uh, Goomba. I think this is a good question. Frankie, I have a question, buddy. Do you allow all of the haters and hate to get to you? And if not, how do you do it? I, I'm reading less and less comments. That's how I'm dealing with it. And also shout out to the guy that wrote a really nasty thing about Frank, who doesn't know Frank, knows nothing about Frank, is just got judgmental well. rather than curious. And then Big Cat quote tweeted on Tank's Army got to work, and it turns out he's a felon. Love to see that. Love that for him. Love that energy. Um, Frank, is it true that autotune ruined American pop music? Yes. Absolutely. When is Frank coming to Maine? A friend of mine is dying to know. As soon as I can. You son of a bitch. Anytime Frank and I are leaving the local area, he always says, (laughs) Hey, Jenks, you want to swing by Maine? He thinks it's 10 minutes away. Yeah, it's there's just, a it's place. A there's a, uh, they have these things called red snappers, <laughs> and they're red like skin the hot dogs. Oh my god! That Maine is known for, and uh, there's a place called like uh, Flows or something like that in Cape Nidic. This is always his Maine. response to my logistical challenges. And I need to roll. I, I need to roll dog that spot. Frank, Maine's a few hours away. Jinx, you don't understand. They have this hot dog. <laughs> yeah. What do you, it's and called, then we can also go through Portsmouth, New Hampshire. And so, yeah, because I want a raw dog in all 50 states, too. So I haven't been to New Hampshire in uh, 41 years. Uh, 41 years, Frank. All right. Let's move on to another question. Uh, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Invisibility. <laughs> Frank, I have to ask a follow up. If you were given invisibility, what would be the first thing you'd do with it? Steal. Frank, you were a lot more <laughs> minded than, yeah. Uh, even that was the most innocent answer you could pick if you uh, went invisible. So good on you. I'm not even going to say anything bad. Who would you steal from? The government. All right. Good. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. I'm back. I'm back. Steal from the government. I like that. 
You're like Hancock. I like it. Um, all right, who's the white whale for Frank Walks or Tank Walks? Yeah, Frank Walks. Seinfeld, right? Jerry Seinfeld would be a great one. Steve Cohen, obviously. Uh, Dan Marino, Martin Brodeur. Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal, that would be a great one. Especially if we could get him in Newark. Michael Jordan. That's a great one. Never heard of him. Go. All right, I got one more. Frank, where did you get your Red Deer Rebels jersey that you wore on yesterday's walk? Uh, I'm intrigued. The, uh, that was actually sent to me by the uh, by the uh, Red, Deer, uh, Red Deer Rebels. I uh, remember the team sent it to me. All right, well, there you go. That's everything for Ask the Tank, Frank. Uh, do you have anything else you want to say? Uh, no, i just trying to look up something, I think. I got something while Frank's doing whatever the fuck he's doing. LeBron James is an embarrassment for saying that's the guy for saying uh, in, on his podcast with JJ Reddick, where they drink wine, like a couple whatever's um, that couple the, two, the 2011 Miami heat did not. I was going to say just pretentious douchebags to be clear. I love wine, but like doing it on your podcast, like, come on. Um, he said the 2011 heat didn't have enough depth to win. He got locked down by J.J. fucking Berea for all yeah. these LeBron lovers that say he's the greatest of all time. Put J.J. Berea on Mr. Jordan in the NBA Finals. Come back and ask me how it went. He couldn't guard Jason Terry either. They had to switch him off. And uh, the reason why I was just looking at something, I saw a little note pop up on my pop-up uh, screen that they, uh, that's actually uh, might have learned some lessons. Cancel the game. Today's game has been rained out, and I will be playing a doubleheader tomorrow at 12 10. This is the closest they get to a win, a, an actual delay on time. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah so Great fans, job, Matt. So fans don't have to suffer and go out there again today. Love it. All right, guys. Make sure you guys uh, click like and subscribe on all our platforms. Appreciate you guys. Frank, you got anything else? Oh. <sighs> I told you so, you didn't listen, but I told you so. Yep, I told you so. Click, like, subscribe, and uh, every time you go leave City Field, look down. There's my brick. Frank was right. Yeah. All right, see you guys next week, Jinx. No, uh, no salt, no more salt for you. All right, see you guys next week. No more salt for me.